If you're somebody who's going to the UK to do your bachelor's or master's degree and are wondering which bank account to open, this video is just for you. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Devyani and in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about opening a bank account when you come to the UK. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything from when can you open your account, what is the difference between a student account and a general account, which are the good banks you can go to, how is the application process, then what documents do you need from your university and how to obtain them, then how can you transfer money from India, what are the charges and all you need to know. Like literally this video covers everything. So make sure you watch this video until the end. But before I start this video, I need to address something. Like literally I have been getting so many DMs about people like worried because they don't have an accommodation as yet. And guys, like why are you worried? Like literally there is Amber student. Like I've added the link in the description box below. Click on it. You will be taken to the landing website. Then um, just fill in with your details, like your name, your phone number, email ID, aapka jo bhi university hai, wherever your city, like just put in the university address and register. And somebody from Amber student is going to call you and recommend you places, whatever your budget is. So like guys, it is August now, like please book your accommodations. Like I don't know how you're doing because some log meko bore rahe ki they will like come to the UK and figure it out. Like how are you going to figure like a UK guarantor? council tax then like you're gonna stay in airbnb you're gonna spend a lot in that like the shifting like literally when college starts in september you don't have time to do all of that so please stop this video register with amber student like it is southeast asia's largest student accommodation provider so they have a lot of options for you so make sure you check it out and let's get into this video so let us begin so to make your bank account you need only three documents which is your brp card your confirmation of studies letter, which is generated by the university. I'm going to talk about that later. And also your passport. That's pretty much it. That's very easy as that. So as soon as you land in the UK, you will get your BRP milega in a few days by post or by university. Like, kahan se bhi aapko aapka BRP milega. And make sure you start applying for banks, whatever you choose, as soon as possible. Because imagine, all the students around the UK are applying for the same limited number of banks. So the waiting time can be really long, right? And the next thing is like if you have a bank account, then you can start doing part time also jaldi se jaldi, you know, because like apps say like Coupil, yeah, Stint, unko, they require you to put your bank details in the account so that they can transfer money easily. So bank account ke baad part time is also easy. So before I talk about all of those details, let me share ki maine kya kiya. Like after I came here in September 2021, until like December, like working part time was not on my radar. Like I was just like figuring myself out, figuring the country out, the education system. So I must until November, December, I was using my Forex card to, for all the transactions because it was also like just put in your card, put in your pin and it was pretty easy, right? But all of my friends started getting bank accounts around December-ish. So I was like, Devani, I need to buck up. I went to Barclays ke website pe and I was like, I filled in the form and all of that, but somehow it was not going through. Isli I went to the bank itself. So I was like, hi, I'm Devyani, I'm doing my master's here. I want to open a student account. Can you help me with that? She was like, oh dear, I'm so sorry. Until January or February, like there are no appointments available. So I was like, do mehna waiting time, like in December, can you imagine? So then I was like, okay. Barclay, chodo, let's go to Lloyd's. Then I went to Lloyd's. In Lloyd's, mein, it was, the application process was damn smooth. Like in the online, I had a form bhara, But the second step was I had to go to the bank to submit my documents. So what was the problem? Hua? The address I put in my um, application and the address on my confirmation of letter of studies was not exactly the same. So when I say it was not exactly the same, I put uh, in my application mein dala tha, flat number one to whatever, whatever. Or is my confirmation of studies mein tha F number. Aise. So, so it has to be word for word. So is my application cancelled. So they were like, you should apply again. So then I made sure the address was right, everything was exactly matching, and then I went again. So they were like, your application abhi reject hua hai. So it will take about two, three weeks, la la la. And I was like, oh my god. And tab tak, like, I never heard back from Lloyds as well. So I was like, wo bhi chhod do. So my third option was HSBC and the whole process was smoothly. Hua. So when I talk about like whatever application process I'm going to talk about is going to be about HSBC. So before we talk about how to do all of that, let me tell you the difference between a student account and a general account and which one you should get. So when I came here, like most of the people were making student accounts. I was like, okay, maybe that's the right thing to do. And I was like applying for student accounts. Like, but student account, ka the only benefit you have is the overdraft facility. What does For example, you have hundred pounds in your bank account, and you have spent that whole amount. You went to boat party, you went. I don't know. You just went traveling and all of that. So, in your account, there are zero pounds, and you need to buy groceries. 
तो यूजली वट यू डू लास्ट का पेरेंट्स टू सेंड और यू कैन बोरो फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड्स इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट यू डायरेक्टली स्पेंड फ्रॉम योर कार्ड सो आपका बैलेंस माइनस फिफ्टी हुआ फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो इन स्टूडेंट अकाउंट द ओवर ड्राफ्ट इज फ्री सो वेन यू पुट इन मनी दैट ऑटोमेटिकली विल गेट चार्ज बट ऑन द अदर हैंड फॉर अ जनरल अकाउंट आपको फोर्टी परसेंट का इंटरेस्ट पड़ता है लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप माइनस हंड्रेड गए तो वाई पेइंग बैक यू हैव टू पे वन फोर्टी पाउंड विच इज अ वेरी बैड थिंग बट एज स्टूडेंट्स एज इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स वी आर वेरी विजिलेंट विद आर मनी वी वुड नेवर गो कि आप पूरा पैसा खर्च कर लिया इन निगेटिव सो आई पर्सनली मेड अ जनरल अकाउंट एंड आई फील दैट इज द बेस्ट वे टू गो बिकॉज अभी नाउ आई एम ग्रेजुएटिंग सून एंड आफ्टर दैट अगेन कौन बदलेगा फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट टू जनरल सो मेक श्योर यू जस्ट जनरली बना दो बिकॉज द प्रोसेस इज ऑल्सो फास्टर देन यू डोंट हैव टू प्रोवाइड योर कैश एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट लाइक यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड अ कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ स्टडीज बट लाइक इट्स मच मोर ईजियर इन दैट सेंस एंड द बेनिफिट्स आर ओवरऑल द सेम यू नो कि आपको खाली ओवर ड्राफ फैसिलिटी नहीं मिलेगा सो नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट अ विच बैंक अकाउंट टू चूज so the popular ones like me and my indian friends have been uh, using is barclays hsbc lois natwest city bank and santander and there are some other banks as well like some people in scotland use the royal bank of scotland and there are many other like there is the china china bank metro bank but uh, these banks i haven't like heard about and used like i've never seen anybody use them so i personally recommend hsbc because sabse smooth mere liye wo process tha but again if you have somebody else who has used like barclays or you can definitely talk to them and see whatever works right for you but there is also another concept so there is an offline bank which i talked about like hsbc lloyds but there is another thing called an online bank so the best online bank is revolut and monzo so i don't know if you have heard about it i've added a links in the description box below but revolut is essentially like google pay ki aapko yahan pe kaise hota hai na ki like if you want to send money quickly like just revolut kar do Like right now, even on my phone, I have been using Revolut as an online bank. So here, like I said, you might have heard like you know there are a lot of chori, like not like not always, but like you know there are a lot of risk factors. That your purse chala gaya, your wallet chori ho gaya, then you your bank card is gone, and here you don't need a pin to put in your bank card, right? Because you just tap your phone, you tap your card, and it's directly uh, gone. You know the money is gone. So what people do is, आपका main bank card, आप like for example HSBC में पूरा money load करो, you keep it at home and have like a Revolut account. So Revolut में you add like some amount of money, like maybe fifty pounds या hundred pounds. So in case your phone or whatever your purse is stolen, आपके खाली सौ pounds जा रहे instead of like whatever amount you have on your HSBC account, right? So it's very convenient. So if you want to have like a Revolut account, I'm going to make another completely another video on that. So I'm going to talk about that later. But this is the difference. I recommend like have a Revolut account also. I have an HSBC account also, um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to take you through how to apply to HSBC at the very end of the video. But after you apply online and all of that is done, take all three documents: your letter of confirmation, your um, BRP and your passport and directly go to the bank. So sometimes log bolte hai ki you know wait they will call you they will like process it. But usme bahut time lagta hai because you know again a lot of people are applying. So directly go to your local bank and uh, make sure your timing is right. Go like very early in the morning. Yeah, don't go around ten eleven because bahut bhi rote you have to wait for like two three hours. Like I personally went at like three or four o'clock and I had to wait for like one and a half two hours. Okay. So you go there and they call you and they were like, okay, what is like, what is your name? And they put in everything on the, you know, on their system. They take your, uh, they scan your documents, everything. So after five to seven working days, आपको आपका bank card आपके घर पे आ जाता है. तो उसपे you have your sort code, you have your account number and all of those details. So after you get your card, obviously you have to activate it. So it's very easy. You just have to follow all the instructions. So UK में कैसे होता है ना? Most of the things happen online. So in person जाने के most of the time ज़रूरत नहीं होती. Even for HSBC, the application process was online. The activation process was online. Like through the website and more so from the app. So app, आप face ID register करो, आपका pin decide करो. Everything is really easy. Then somebody from HSBC will call you. and they will like you will have to like do a voice activation as well like sometime worst case scenario like aapki awaaz se you have to say a sentence and things like that so that is voice activated and a lot of like security things which happen but itna security se kya hi karega agar kisi ne mera card hi chura liya and they tap it somewhere then the money is gone so you have to be very careful in terms of that anyway after i got my account details maine papa ko bol diya ki papa this is it and you can transfer me money so in india uh, we have made a special axis bank account just for these transfers so for axis bank no matter whatever the amount is like even if you are sending like 10000 rupees or like 2 lakh rupees 
they charge between 1200 to 1500 i am not sure about the exact amount i think between something between that but each transaction ke liye you pay like let us consider 1200 rupees so isliye it is more convenient to send like a larger amount at one time because aapko transfer fees khali 1200 padta hai rather than sending like 10000 10000 10000 multiple times so that is how it is so now let us go through the application process ओके okay, चलो देखते हैं हाउ टू मेक अ बैंक अकाउंट एट एच एस बी सी सो ऑब्वियसली फर्स्ट टाइप इन एच एस बी सी एंड गो ऑन द वेरी फर्स्ट लिंक पर अकाउंट स्टार्ट करने से पहले देर इज़ अनादर डॉक्यूमेंट विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच इज़ कॉल्ड कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ स्टडी सो दैट मीन्स आप जब अकोमोडेशन का एड्रेस वगैरह भर रहे हो ना यू हैव टू पुट इन द एग्जैक्ट एड्रेस लाइक आई मैंशन बिफोर सो बेसिकली गो ऑन योर कॉलेज का वेबसाइट सो ऑब्वियसली सब यूनिवर्सिटीज़ का अलग अलग होगा हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट बट एट किंग्स एटलीस्ट दैज अ थिंग कॉल्ड स्टूडेंट रिकॉर्ड्स तो वहाँ पर इफ यू स्क्रोल डाउन दैज दिस थिंग कॉल्ड कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ स्टडी सो आपका इंटरफेस सब अलग हो सकता है तो यू नीड टू फिगर आउट कि ये कहाँ मिल रहा है आई कॉन्ट टेल यू दैट आपको ही पता होगा सो वैन यू गो टू कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ स्टडी एज यू कैन सी योर कि ओके दिस लेटर वट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन बट द कोर्स इज प्री सेलेक्टेड ठीक है and what is the purpose to make a bank and journal general purpose ke liye chahiye so i click on that and then which bank so here i have couple of options bank of china or tesco bank whatever but i'm applying for hsbc so i click on that and click generate letter so after that i get a mail from them saying that okay this is the student confirmation letter and then when i open it it looks like this so obviously i've hidden my address details because no सो इसमें सी द फर्स्ट लिंक द यूनिवर्सिटी रिकॉर्ड दैट द टर्म टाइम एड्रेस ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इज सो यहाँ पर जो भी एड्रेस है ना लाइक द एग्जैक्ट एड्रेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज़ गिवन ए बी सी डैश डी सो इवन द डैश इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो कीप दिस डॉक्यूमेंट ओपन बिफोर यू स्टार्ट अप्लाइंग फॉर द बैंक अकाउंट सो अभी तो हमारे कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ स्टडीज आ गया सो आई एम जिसको ना क्लोज दिस सो इन दिस वेन यू गो टू एच एस बी सी गो टू करंट अकाउंट्स ठीक है and then um yeah wait for it to load and then bank account the very first one because humko general chahiye so i'm going to show you how to make a general bank account not a student one because obviously maine aapko already bataya hai what by that's not worth it itna so just go to how to apply and just go down 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 and then apply for a sole account right so then you go here and you say confirm and start So what is your email address? I'm gonna fake everything in this. So let's just come up with an email address. Let's say Devyani at the gmail dot com. That is not my email address. Um. Then say please please select that I'm a miss. My first name is Devyani. My last name is Kupade. So that is all true. But otherwise, yeah. So do you have any previous names? I do not. I'm a female. My birthday is on twenty four September. and the place of birth is not iceland it is india and then my nationality is also an indian theek hai and then marital status living uh, i'm just very single right now and zero then contact details phone number i'm just going to type type like a random phone number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so these are the first 10 digits which came to my mind Okay, so here this is the main part. So here, when it says um, enter address, you say enter address manually, and on your student letter, whatever is here, just take it, copy, and paste it. ठीक है, exact like there is no change. So I'm just gonna put in my fake address. I'm gonna say A B C dash one two three. Then which street? Let's call it La La Land, and in London, and my postcode is I don't know. uh south west 12 to r i don't know i don't know even know if that that exists honestly but yeah i've just put some random post code so you will understand but this is all given here right you have to just copy paste that part so you are a tenant here and all halls of residence so right now i'm staying at a hall of residence so i'm just going to click that so when did you move in so now you're going to coming in coming like for example september 2022 so i'm going to say september 2022 um okay so i'm just going to say september 20 21 okay okay this because this is in the future so basically 
I'm just going to September 2021 right now. But after you come, you can apply so that the date has passed. Anyway, so this is September 2022 right here. So where did you live before? So I'm, I used to live in India. So where in India? Again, here is the address. Your exact address you have to copy paste here. So I'm just going to say uh, Jai Hind College where my university was. Mumbai. Okay, whatever. And when did you move to this address? So I would say like maybe second. This doesn't really matter, but it just has to be more than three years. So I will say that in 2000, I moved. It like, doesn't matter much. Then your financial details. So what I am a full-time student, like full-time education. When was your course start date? 09, 2021. Up 2022, dialogue. So what is your annual salary? Oh, end date must be. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. This is your end date. Sorry. So, your annual salary is just put like 1000. I don't know. Annual income, like just put 1000 here as well. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Like, apka... like this is through part time income, more or less. Like, up obviously, will earn way more than just a thousand pounds, but it doesn't really matter. Um, Are you going to send money? So, say no here. And then just say UK only, right? And then you continue. So what is the main reason? So for personal expenses, do you have an HSBC? No, you do not have. And then you can just say like cash or like card transfer or just say both. Anything works. So initial transfer, it's not enough, but I just say cash right now. Or first cash deposit would be like from your other. So just say that uh, will transfer from Indian Forex card or parents parents will, whatever will transfer so whatever details you have just put in here and then you review and you obviously submit and this is how we apply and then of course as i mentioned before you go to the bank you submit your details and that's pretty much it i hope this video was very helpful for you guys i have been trying to make so many videos like i have so many very helpful videos lined up but literally time ही नहीं हो रहा like literally this is August and अभी मेरे पास dissertation है I have to do another assignment I have to uh, find a house find a job and it's been like super crazy so I'm so sorry like मैं इतने informative videos इतना जल्दी जल्दी नहीं डाल पा रही हूँ but I'm trying my best I think after August I'll be full on like I have so many videos for you because मेरे को अभी time भी नहीं है to go out like I want to show you like the grocery stores around I want to show you how the tube works like and so many things but I got time so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you find it helpful, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you found it helpful, please do like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And see you next week. Bye.